Our next autumn inspired art project is based on a book called Leaf Man. You're gonna see some really, really cool illustrations and I want you starting to think about what could you make out of real leaves. Leaf Man by Lois Elhart. Leaf Man used to live near me in a pile of leaves. But yesterday, the wind blew Leaf Man away. He left no travel plans. The last time I saw him, he was headed east, past the chickens. Now look and see how they made a chicken out of leaves. Hopefully that gets your imagination going. He flew towards the marsh over the ducks and geese. A leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. Look at the ducks and geese made out of leaves. He blew over the fields of pumpkins and winter squash. And he flew over the turkey, past potatoes, carrots, and cabbages in rows. Then he blew out of sight. Is he drifting west above the orchards? Or over the prairie meadows? and past the spotted cows? Well, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. Ooh, I love this page. Maybe leaf man's gliding on a lake breeze. Ooh. Okay, I'm especially inspired at how they made a turtle out of leaves. That is cool. Or is he flying along the river? Following butterflies going south? Well, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. He might even be traveling north above the leaves that look like him. or flying over mountains with a flock of birds. Just look at how they collage those leaves together to make the birds. How cool. When Leaf Man looks down on Earth, is he lonesome for a home? This I do know. Where a Leaf Man will land, only the wind knows. So listen for a rustle in the leaves. Do you hear that rustle in the leaves? Maybe you'll find a leaf man waiting to go home with you. Let's make art inspired by leaf man. All I have is a piece of paper to use for a background, but you don't even have to have that. You could lay your leaves out on the table. Before, remember when we went on our leaf walk and we collected all these cool leaves? Well, let's actually play with them on the paper or on the table and see what kind of cool collage shapes you could make. got these two yellow leaves. What could they be? 
Ooh, they could be the legs of a person. Or they could be the ears of a bunny rabbit. That would be cute. Or the arms of a person. Ooh, what about the fins of a fish or a turtle? There's so many possibilities. Let's see, I wonder if I could make maybe something using all these yellow leaves that I've found. I really like when things radiate from the center out. So I'm kind of playing with this idea here. Like, hmm, what could this remind us of? There you go, that's a collage. What could that be? Maybe a sun or a flower, that would be kind of cool. Kind of also looks like a banana, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe I could make a monkey eating a banana. Okay, another thing I was thinking about with these leaves is they could be maybe legs of a person. So if those were the legs of a person, they would need some arms. Let's see, maybe this would be another good arm. And then I could build up the body on top to make my leaf man, or woman, or just leaf person, hello. All right, oh, he looks so cute. Hmm, he's like a special head that would stand out. Ooh, I have some googly eyes, I'll be right back. Look what I have. My friend Heidi sent these googly eyes to me in the mail and I've been really excited to use them. I think this will be perfect. Oh yeah. Whoa, that made a big difference. <laughs> now, if you don't have googly eyes, you could make your own eyes and just cut them out of a piece of paper and stick them right on your leaf person. Isn't it cute? Hmm. What other collages could I make out of leaves? I made a leaf person, I made a leaf flower. Ooh, I wonder if I could make a leaf word. Hmm, it has to be a short word. Let's see if I can spell something in leaves and you can guess what I'm spelling. Okay, do you see what that letter is? I'm gonna do this one in a different color, actually. Okay. Can you tell what I'm doing yet? What did I spell? Can you tell? C F A L L. What does that spell? Ball! Cool! <laughs> this is way too much fun making collages out of leaves. I want to make something else. Hmm, what should I make? How about an animal? Okay, definitely inspired by the book Leaf Man. make the round body by kind of putting these leaves together in the middle. And that's gonna be my darkest area here. Okay, more dark ones there. Okay, so I've got kind of this round shape in the middle for the body. And then I think I wanna make Legs? The fins? I don't want to give away too much. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is going to be the head. There. And definitely need some googly eyes, right? <laughs> Can 
you tell what I tried to make? It's a turtle. <laughs> That's my favorite animal. <laughs> And then you can either leave it there, take a photograph. Oh, oh, leave it. oh, leave it there. Get it? Leave it there and take a photograph. Or you could actually glue things down. Like if you were going to do a paper collage, you could glue it down to keep it permanently. Now, you like making collages, don't you, Gigi? I love it. <gasps> Valerie. That's Preston. my bird. Oh, wait. Let me take a photo of Valerie's bird. This is awesome. Oh, yeah. I love it. Ooh. What's your bird's name, Valerie? Scylla. What is it? Scylla. Scylla. Hello, Scylla bird. 
Is there anything else you want to do to this collage? Do you want to add other birds around it or clouds or trees? What do you think? I just want the birds. Great job. I'm so proud of you. Now, do you want to make oh, anything else? Nuts. You could even come over here and make another I think one. I, may, I think I may have had a donut. Whoa, you're lucky. I'm trying to make like a hula skirt here. I'm, I'm trying to make, make like, I'm just going to try and make like in action, like make a video and then just see like some Oh, spinning. cool. You're like, high tech. Okay, I had to break a branch for my that's arms. Okay, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then, oh, that's beautiful, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I can blow my bird away all the pieces. You see, I can blow my... See, her bird can fly. Woo, there it goes. I what a great idea. Do you want me to make you a bird? Yes, please. It, this is also a really good material for like if you have need like small. It's so easy. It's really easy because it's one long strip and you can just rip a piece um, off. That's so smart. I wow. love it because you can just keep moving things around and change it and change it. You don't even have to erase. No. Yeah. Is it okay if I get, get some pieces? Yes. I like the way you ask so nicely. See, we're all sharing. We're also sharing ideas. Oh, oh true. Yeah, Preston was talking about making a tree, and I thought, ooh, 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 ooh. did that inspire you? Uh, I'm gonna make a tree. I'm gonna make a pretty, pretty tree. Make sure you let me know. Oh, can I? Oh, that's a great idea. Can I copy you? You can sure. fold a leaf. This up. is gonna be your head. Yes, please. May I borrow that? Yes. Thank this you. Is one thing that's awesome about leaves is that you um there's never a leaf that's like a squarish, so oh. you can fold it up. So you can fold it up to make a new shape. Thank you, Valerie. And but are you gonna make something on that paper? Oh wow, he looks Be like careful. an Indian. Oh, thank you. I was going for. <laughs> I was going oh, yeah. for maybe like a person with a skirt on like maybe a hula girl from Hawaii or something. I'm going to take a photo of it so I can make some more. I like to document before I change it. Valerie, so you've already made a bird. What are you thinking about making next? Ooh, can I take I a picture of yours? Yeah, I think I'm ready. I think I've got a um, one tree growing in um, on a mossy bank. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the narrative of a single tree or a single house or a single person in Is the it landscape. Just a virus or a yes, yeah. you may. Thank you for well, asking so nicely. Yeah. Ooh, I'd like to take a photo of Preston's work. Yeah, I'm gonna erase. Look, at Look how oh, easy it is to erase. Okay. Oh, Preston, this is great. I like to draw like more than one. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm okay, is it ready to photograph? Yes. Masterpiece. He's eating a nut. Ah! Tell me about your character. So someone is like next, um, like at the neighbors, and they like, and they're friends, and they um, like to help each other grow food. Awesome. So you can tell a story with your art. We could even make a whole book ourselves, just like they did with Leaf Man, right? We could tell stories and do all kinds of cool stuff. And We're gonna keep on making more shapes. Oh, what are you making now, Mom? Some kind of animal. I just made some legs some and kind of body. Can you, part of a body. But I'm not sure you got any ideas for me. Well, I just got inspired. That looks like a bird's nest. No, it's it's a spider web with a spider in it. I used some moss for the spider web and I used this acorn for for the spider. You are so creative. Is it um are you allowed to like do like dinosaurs and ice age around? Absolutely. These kids are full of great ideas, and I'd love to see what you make at home or in the classroom with your natural materials. Don't forget to photograph your work and send it to me. You can email it or upload it to the Google Classroom. This is so fun. Did you have fun, everybody? Yeah. I'm almost um, done. Are Yay. You, are you allowed to do like Minecraft stuff? You could do Minecraft stuff. Artists get inspiration from everywhere.
Oh, I thought it was like it had to be in real life, not in well, video games. Well, I think that was the start of the idea, but now as we're making it, we're realizing that you could really create anything out of natural materials, right? So the sky's the limit. Thanks for watching. We're going to keep making our natural collages. Bye. Aww. Bye. Bye. Adios. Adios. Have fun. Hashtag no way go. Okay, Preston, will you tell us a story about the nature collage that you made? Okay, so what I am thinking of is someone, he's pulling up a plant, which is that way that's there and that's there. And he's growing some plants and that's the sun. And it was raining when he came out, but so his plants would be nice and wet. So when he, so when he ate it, it would it would be good and and they um some and sometimes the nuts um which will actually the plants some um, they are a bit slippery yeah oh i think it's wonderful preston and i absolutely love that you can tell a story with your art great and job i should have made it shorter because it looked like he was pulling it out the ground that looks better well you can move things around with collage this is my bird. I wanted to make a bird because I saw it in the video and they really liked how they look so I wanted to make a bird. And this is my spider web with the spider deep down in it. I I used a little acorn and the moss and I used a, and I used these leaves for the wings of the bird and this for the body of the bird. And you can see that this was the head. Uh-huh. So that's how I made my bird and my spider web with my spider. Bravo! You did such a good job with your leaf art, Valerie. Are you proud of yourself? What's your favorite thing about making art? Everything. This is my dad. Say hi, dad. Hi, everybody. <laughs> this, I'm not an artist like everybody else here, but I have fun putting together. I call Leaf Man. Yes, and we got inspired by the book Leaf Man, so you are right on target here. Can you show us what you made and tell us kind of your ideas and inspiration? Well, I saw, I saw those two larger pieces and I thought, well, they look kind of stocky and they might be good for um, somebody's legs. And then the next thing I saw was the leaf in the middle and I was gonna make that the body. Yeah. And then I saw the two smaller ones and I thought, well, two more could be the arms. And then I was gonna make this uh, moss, this dried moss into, um, the beard yeah into a beard because i have a beard <laughs> <laughs> i'm not leaf man but i do have a beard <laughs> and uh so i decided to use it for his uh, head and his hair Perfect. instead so nothing is attached um it can all come apart it travels well <laughs> and you can make this anywhere right and you can make it anywhere all you need is sticks and leaves and we got plenty of that around here. Yeah, huh? we do. Dad, I have to say, even though you don't consider yourself an artist, I think you're a natural. Get it? Uh, you're a natural since we use nature. I guess I am. Oh, thank you, Mom and Dad, for joining me in, in our Leaf Man it's project. Fun. Yay. Oh, hey, it was fun for me. Aw.